the left and right angle brackets are going to become your best friends here in DaVinci Resolve. Now understand I call them the left and right angle brackets because it makes much more sense once you see what they actually do. But in the documentation, they're going to be referred to as comma and period. Same thing if we came up here to keyboard customization, it's these buttons right here, comma and our period. You can see that they are one frame right and one frame left. So you can see why I refer to those as angle brackets since they're pointing to the left and the right. And what these keys do is nudge. So let's check that out. If I needed to move this clip one frame over to match it up to the music, if I just try to grab it now, go over exactly one frame, you can see I'm getting 14 frames there. I could always try turning off our snap and then zooming way in here. And then of course, grabbing it and really try to get that just one frame. Ah, there we go. One frame, but that took way too long, man. We don't have that kind of time. So instead, here in selection mode, just select your clip and I'll do my left angle bracket. Boom, exactly one frame over. Multiple times left, multiple times right. Move that or nudge that exactly one frame. We also have, if we add, move this over here. If we add shift to that, that is our multi-frame move. So multi-frame left by default is gonna be five frames. So again, that's holding down shift and left angle bracket This in this case. That's exactly five frames, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll hold down shift, left angle bracket, boom, exactly five frames. Now you can change this if you would prefer to nudge that 10 frames or something. Come up here to DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, come over here to User, Editing, General Settings, and come down here to where it says Default Fast Nudge Length. And let's change this to, say, 11. We'll save that. Move this back here. We'll count out 11 frames, just so you can see this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 frames. I'll hold down Shift, left angle bracket, boom, exactly 11 frames. Or, of course, go to the right as well. So let me change this back because I prefer five frames right there. Okay. And save that. But that's not all we can do. Here in selection mode again, if I had an edit point selected, I can use my, in this case, my right angle bracket, and I'm trimming that by one frame at a time. Or of course, lengthening it by one frame at a time. Okay, so you can do your edits that way. If you need to cut something exactly one frame or two frames or hold down shift again, multi-frame, trim that with our left and right angle brackets. Let's say I have all of these clips selected. Again, my angle bracket, moving all of those one frame, shift five frames over at a time. I'll zoom in so you can see it a little bit uh, better. Shift, moving all of those clips. In this case, holding down shift five frames at a time, just nudging those along. But we also have here in trim mode, let me just select one edit point and I'll zoom in a bit more so you can see this here. So just this edit point here selected, I can again use my left and right angle brackets to trim that clip. You can see up here our beginning clip for our next clip and where we're going out right there. I can hold down shift again and do a multi-frame trim uh, on that, which is pretty cool. If I were to select the entire clip, here in trim mode. Let me actually select this clip here, okay? Then I can use my left and right angle brackets. You can see I can slip that clip. Beginning frame, ending frame, previous clip, next clip, okay? You can see all of that right there. If I were to select both edit points right here, zoom in a bit, I can again use our left and right angle brackets to slip that around, select just one of those to trim it up. Again, both of them. Okay, but that's not all we can do with our left and right angle brackets. We can also zoom out a bit. We can also just select this clip here for now. If we add control to that, so control shift, and we're gonna go right angle bracket. So control shift, right angle bracket, and we swapped the position of this clip with this clip here. So control shift, left angle bracket, swap the position, swap the position, and I can swap this clip around the timeline like this, which is uh, pretty cool. Again, that's control shift and then your left or right angle brackets or comma and period. All right, so these two will really be your best friends, especially for that nudge, nudging those frames one frame at a time, or again, shift 
to multi-frame, control shift to swap your clips. And then of course, our trimming, one more time, you can trim or shift to trim in multi-frame. And again, then in trim mode, select the clip and we can slip it around or of course select edit points and roll that edit around all with your best friends here in DaVinci Resolve are left and right angle brackets.